Alrighty, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Ness River Railroad. We have a bit more progress. As you might be able to see behind me, I have spline and track from the old staging up to the main deck. I just finished this off today. I'm pretty happy with the results. It's far from perfect, but it's good enough, I believe. I got rid of most of the kinks. I shouldn't say most of the kinks. I got rid of the kinks. Um, the radius is quite open the whole way around, as you can see. But there is <clears throat> one little spot in here that's a bit tighter than the rest of it, but it's still a big radius. So it works really well. I'm gonna stop this little intro bit. I'm gonna stitch in a bit that I did the other day, just showing, showing the spline before the track went on. And then we'll come back and we'll run a long intermodal up the grade, see how it goes compared to the old grade. Now, remember with the old one, I really, really struggled to get stuff to come up the incline. So this will be a good test to see how differently it goes. Uh, and I'm gonna run my new scale trains operator Jeevos just for the hell of it, which I haven't added the detail parts to yet, but that's okay. So here we go into the old bit and I'll see you afterwards. All right, before I start laying track. So there's the first bit of replacement spline done. Nice and gentle gradient. Still would have just fixed that out, even that out, but that's nothing. Neither here nor there. Big gentle curves, nice easy gradient. Lovely. All right, everyone, we're back. So there you go, that was the spline before I put the track down. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna run my intermodal up the grade. I've got you on the zoomed out. I've got a new phone now for the videos or for everything. So I've got it zoomed out so you can get a good idea of uh, the curve that it's gonna come up. I have all of my intermodal wagons on my two locos. Uh, when I've tried to run that in the past, I think you'll remember I had all sorts of issues because uh, the radius was just a little bit too much and the, the, the gradient was just maybe a little bit off in spots. Now it's a lot more easy, gentle gradient, not perfect, and the radius is a lot more open, but not perfect. Um, so we'll see how we go. I've just got all my intermodal cars out. Oop, hold on, the cat wants to get out. There you go, buddy. I've just put all my intermodal cars in as they've come out of staging. When I ran it up uh, previously on that video months ago, I had to fine tune which cars were happy sitting where. So we'll see how this goes. It should be okay. Famous last words, eh? Up we go. So I'll stand back here, get out of the view. Hopefully I don't have to go and do a mad dash to get to any of them as they go careering off the track. But you can see from back here how much better that gradient is. It's working really, really well. I might have mentioned before, so I'm running my two Scale Trans Jeevo operator models here. I haven't added the, uh, the detail parts just yet. I'll get around to that another day. So that's doing that all pretty easily. Oh, the cat wants back in now, does he? Oh no. Just jumping about the place. So once I set the, the speed for those uh, cars coming up the gradient I haven't had to alter it it's just sitting in there nice and steadily a little bit of wheel slip going on not much though considering the weight that it's pulling up and we've just hit a dead spot so I've got dead spots back there because track disconnected so there you go guys I'm pretty happy with that uh, the next task will be now making the spline from the inner loop up 
to the top of the peninsula. So, but if it goes as well as that, that bid did, happy days. All right, there you go. Just a quick update on what I've been up to and um, getting the layout running again. All right, thanks everyone. See ya.